So I already replaced my cowpack suitcase. and welcome back to yet another video. I have not filmed in the last two months and I am so sorry. After a trip to Banff and Washington back in May, Lucas and I have actually just been enjoying New England for the last couple of months. Lucas's mom and Bill actually stayed with us for about a week and so we did get our chance to tour the New England area. I did not get a chance to vlog while they were here, but I did get a chance to create some travel guides for you guys over on my vlog. So if you wanna check out some of the New England adventures that we've been going on, you can check those travel guides out in my blog jenalynj.com. I brought out my camera today because we are going on another adventure this Friday. We are going back to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida for the weekend and so I need to pack. Today's video will be very similar to my typical pack with me style videos but I will also be giving you guys my first impressions on a couple new items that were recently added to my packing list. If you've seen my CalPAC video earlier this year, you would know that I've been traveling with the CalPAC U suitcase carry-on for the last few months. Now, I have been enjoying it, and I'll actually be releasing a review video at the end of the summer about my final thoughts on the CalPAC U suitcase, but for this week's trip, I will actually be trying out a brand new suitcase that was recently sent to me. This is the Level 8 Glitter Carry-On Suitcase. As for first impressions, this suitcase is honestly beautiful. I've always wanted a lighter colored suitcase, but I've always just been a little nervous about getting it dirty. So we will see how this does over time, but so far it looks like the exterior hard shell looks pretty easy to clean and durable as well. It also has a TSA approved lock. It's actually found on the top of the suitcase. And it also has the 360 spinner wheels, which are very quiet in my opinion. The handles are also smooth and has a very quick and easy release. As for the inside, I will go ahead and open it really quick for you guys. As for the inside, I am loving these zippered mesh dividers. I think that it really elevates the suitcase when it comes to compression and making sure everything fits. As you can see on this side, there is a zippered mesh divider here, so you can flip this over like this and you have this side to pack. And then over on this side, we have two zippered compartments as well, both mesh. I'm always a big fan of pockets, of course, for organization, but then there's also the larger zippered compartment as well. So even though it doesn't have the external hard shell pocket that my CalPAC Q carry-on has, I truly think that this one might be giving it a run for its money. So I'm excited to try it out for myself this weekend. On that note, let's get to packing. Okay, so I'm just about finished packing my carry-on suitcase for our trip to Orlando. Since we're only going to be there for a few days, I didn't really need to pack too much, but everything did fit with plenty of room to spare. I'll have to wait on packing my toiletries until, of course, the morning of the flight, but I do still need to somewhat pack some of my carry-on backpack. It's actually brand new. It is the Mate In laptop backpack. Since it's new, I'm not quite sure where I want to put certain things, so I figured that pre-packing it today may help me with that a little bit. And and again, this laptop backpack was sent to me, so thank you so much and shout out to Mayton for sending me this laptop backpack to try. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'd know that I typically travel with my Peter McKinnon travel backpack when I need all my camera gear. But if I'm not bringing all my camera gear, I tend to bring a smaller camera backpack. And that's 
this guy. I've had this backpack for three or maybe even four years now. It has a small compartment on the front for your camera gear and then it has an upper compartment for miscellaneous things as well as a laptop sleeve. It has served me well over the last three or four years. Unfortunately though, it has seen its very last travel days and I will be retiring this backpack. You can probably tell that I don't want to but the zipper ultimately has broken on this backpack and so I will be retiring this backpack from future travels. I am on the hunt for a new smaller camera backpack potentially for the future but for now I am super excited to try out this new laptop backpack because there truthfully are many times when I travel without my camera gear. So this one comes in a dark blue color. It has two major compartments. You have the back compartment which ultimately is the laptop sleeve portion of the backpack so you have this bigger laptop sleeve with a smaller sleeve as well towards the bottom and then you also have the front compartment which is the majority of the storage space it also comes with a sleeve on the back of this section a feature that i am actually super excited to try out is this usb port feature on the side i've never had a backpack that had this feature before but i'm excited to try it out so you can actually leave a portable charger in the back sleeve of this pocket and there's a cord that runs through the side and out this end that has a USB port. This could really come in handy when you're in a pinch looking for an outlet at the airport or if you really need to charge your phone on the go. Another feature that I really like about this backpack is that it has two water bottle sleeves on each side. My former backpack only had one water bottle sleeve, so I'm excited that this one has two. And the two pockets on the front side are gonna be great for easy access. You have the bottom compartment that has plenty of sleeves. It even has a key ring for your keys and just like a mesh zipper compartment, some pen sleeves, etc. So that way it can help you stay organized when you travel. And of course the top pocket Okay will come in handy for easy access as well. The straps seem pretty comfortable, so we'll see how those fare with time. And I'm also a really big fan of the trolley pass-through on the back of the backpack. My former backpack did not have that feature, so I'm excited to finally have a carry-on backpack that I can slide onto the handles of my suitcase. And lastly, this backpack also comes with an anti-theft pocket here at the bottom of the back side of the backpack. So if you want items extra secured and closer to you, you have that option as well. So so on that note, I do think that this backpack is giving me an overall positive first impression. Let's just see how everything fits. trip this weekend and I am so excited so excited to go to Disney World but I am also excited to try out our new travel products for this trip again big thank you and shout out to level 8 and May in for sending us these products to try I'm really excited to see how my new suitcase and my new backpack will fare out in the world as I'm traveling I'm sure I'll have lots of thoughts as I start to use them out in the wild so I will keep you guys updated on any reviews if you'd like thank you so much for hanging out with me as I pack today. Stay tuned for our Disney World vacation this weekend. I'll be sure to document our entire trip. So until that next video, I'll talk to you guys soon.